everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Whitney and today we are back at it again with another writer's scope so this segment of my channel is where you guys send to my email whatever advice you need whatever things you're going through it really does not matter wherever it falls on the spectrum you send it to me and I will give you a third party's perspective right someone who's not in your situation and I will try to give you the best advice I possibly can I say this because I want you guys to know that my word is not the law and I'm just here to help you guys and whatever you're going through you know my goal is to help everyone and anyone even if it is just one person so hopefully this will not distract you too much tonight the ball is kind of really huge but I really don't care so hope you like my attire hope it's not distracting I just washed my hair I didn't really want to take out my braids so that way I can do this video. I hope I still look good and not ridiculous. Now let's get right on into it. Also I want to let you guys know that you know there's a subscription box right down there. You know it's red. You know go ahead click it subscribe to this channel turn on your post notifications and like this video if you guys want to see more of it. So I bet you guys thought I was serious. No I'm not about to come up here with my scarf and start doing a video. I would if I got the bun correctly but I didn't so here we are. So as the email gets right on the screen let's jump right into this all right so here we go hi remember me you did a wonderful advice video for me weeks back I'm the accident prone person who wanted advice about an age difference between me and my girlfriend well first I'm going to update you on me good news is that my wrists are all healed up bad news ankle still in boot cast worse news I broke my other ankle Long story short, slipped on some ice. I guess I can't blame my girlfriend for that. I'll include a pic once again. Anyways, I'm still thinking about your initial advice. I agree with all you said, but to expound on it, the one thing that our age difference reveals to me is that I oftentimes feel as if I'm too much of a father figure to my girlfriend. As much as we share our lives and are intimate, the one aspect of our relationship that is more one-sided, in my opinion, is emotional support. I think because my girlfriend never has had a strong male in her life, be it her father, whom she never knew, or past boyfriends, who to my knowledge always let her down, to her ex-husband, whom was abusive to the point she, he attempted to kill her and served prison time for it, she relies a lot on me for emotional support. Don't get me wrong, I have no problems giving it. But not to seem selfish, a lot of the times I don't feel it's being reciprocated. Sometimes I feel like a father more than a boyfriend. Does that make sense? If you have any thoughts on this, I would love to hear them. If you want to do a video on it, that would be even better. You could label it Advice from Mr. Accident Prone. Just an idea. All right. Okay, Mr. Accident Prone. All right. So, how am I going to jump into this advice? So, I did do a video on him. It's called She Broke My Bones. I think that's what the video is called. And I will link it up above. I don't know which side it is on, but I'll link it. I'm trying to think of a way that I can kind of go towards this advice so one thing that i want to jump into with this sort of advice is first i want to talk about the emotional support and not to compare my experience to your girlfriend's because she went through a lot let's just start off from there okay just based off of what you told me like her father wasn't in the picture then she had a whole bunch of boyfriends that let her down and then her husband a man that she thought she was going to spend the rest of her life with tried to kill her and then he's doing prison time for it or did prison time for it right has even served yeah so it must be past tense and so she relies on you a lot for emotional support and I like how you say you know you'll give it because you understand the sort of position that she's in of course she's in a position where she feels like you know all these men let me down I have a really great man now so of course you're gonna she's gonna dish things onto you that like may seem one-sided so I think first off first and foremost you should have this conversation with her saying like hey I feel like you are not holding me down on this certain areas and um, you know how say it in however way that you guys communicate so one thing that I want you to tell her you know is because you guys need to work on that sort of communication aspect when it comes to emotional support because you know that's basically what you told me here right and so with this, the advice that I want to give you is to be not blunt, but to be forward with her, right? Like you have to tell her, hey, I'm feeling, you know, like you're not paying attention to this aspect of my life. And don't get me wrong. I want to be there for you regardless. Like it doesn't matter. But I do believe that I am stronger in this area, whereas you are not necessarily providing for me in this area. 
so what are the different ways like why how do you feel about these different emotional things like how does she feel about emotions and let me give you an example me i don't really like i'm not big on expressing my emotions like it kind of i don't like it in a sense because i don't like looking like oh she's always crying or oh she's always you know having something wrong with her so like if something goes wrong it takes me a minute to want to open up to other people right except for my like super close friends where i've built that bond with them but that took a minute does that make sense and then even with my boyfriend now we've had problems in the past where as like i would have a problem with something but i'd wait till a couple days to talk about it until i calmed down and then all of a sudden he like wouldn't even know what was going on he felt like it was fake for me not to tell him in the moment because he thinks we're all good and turns out we're not so not saying that that's what you're doing in a sense she could maybe be thinking like oh maybe he's not being 100 honest with me if you don't come to me with stuff like how can i think that we're good and we're not so what i think you should do is more so try to be more open try to be more forward with telling her you know what's going on with you and you know you didn't really define what she sort of lacked in the emotional support like are you able to talk to her and she just doesn't care or is it like you can't talk to her at all because she is like oh that's okay you know like I don't know what sort of either way it's it's lacking for you and you're not getting that emotional support so I think number one you really need to communicate with that to her and I'm not saying that this is your fault or anything like that right I think you need to sit her down and have the conversation like hey I really want to grow in this area with you and I feel like we're lacking in this sort of area like I do you think that I provide emotional support for you and then she answers and then you can be like I don't think you provide that for me and this is why and it's not I don't want it to blow up into an argument I don't know how your communication is right because I'm not in that relationship so this can go bad or this can go good but it's also how you present yourself how you present your tone and the fact that you truly indefinitely want to grow with her that's how I'm going to touch on this for this emotional support right like I want you to have a sit down talk with her be like this is where I want you to help me this is how I respond to different things and this is how I want you to you know help me out like don't just like brush it off don't leave me alone I need you here in this area yada yada you know that's what I'm trying to get does that make sense you know let me try to lay it down a little bit simpler in like two sentences right I want you to go to her and have a conversation with how she is not providing for you in the emotional support area and then it could be a conversation on how to do better, right? <laughs> but don't also sound like a father, <laughs> right? Okay, so here we go. Let's jump into the father figure aspect. One thing that I want to say to you is that I can kind of relate to um, your girlfriend in a sense, right? Like how I said, I'm not trying to compare to her experience. She had an absent father, right? And I too had an absent father. So there's just certain things there that you don't I don't want to say you don't learn but you know it does have an effect on a person so maybe she's kind of like me in a sense to where we just don't like to deal with emotions because we don't know how to handle them or we've had so many emotions that it's just like I just don't want to deal with anybody else's and that's one thing that I really want you to talk to her about because this father figure idea I think comes well I know I don't want to say I know because my word's not the law, but I'm pretty confident that it comes from because there is such a large age difference that you have more experience than her, right? Obviously, just because just because you've lived, what was it, 15 years more than she has or 14, something like that, right? You've lived longer than her, so you've gone through the different stages that she's gone through as far as what age comes with, right? So you have a little bit more experience than what she does. So when you're talking to somebody who's long who's younger than you or even more significantly younger than you you're kind of like okay so why are they acting like this well they're acting like this because they're 23 and they just got out of college and they want to splurge on a whole bunch of money that they just got right whereas they're 38 and they're well established in their career they know how to manage their finances and you don't have to teach them how to properly function as an adult does that make sense and i'm not trying to say that your girlfriend's not necessarily an adult because she can be more mature for her age i don't even know how old she is like i'm just trying to give you a scenario where it kind of brings it into perspective so because you have a different living because you have a new lens on your life things that she does is probably going to seem childish because she has a less mature lens than you do if that makes sense right and i'm not saying she's immature either she's just 
younger. There's certain things that you don't just don't experience until you know you reach a certain age or until you have those years on you where you know you're placed in these different situations. Does that make sense? So with this whole father figure aspect, it can make you feel like a father because you're probably wondering like, why are you doing this? Why aren't you being here for me? Like, you're probably you're in two different mindsets, right? Like, especially for someone who's in their 20s versus someone who's in their like, late 30s. There's different, there's a whole different world. And even when you're even like 40, there's it's a whole different experience for someone who's in their 60s. It's just this whole generational thing. You guys are in two different generations. Okay, so she was raised differently than how you were raised. And so that is basically what you guys are bringing into the table. You guys are both bringing your two different experiences, laying it down and trying to merge them together. And for a while, you know, you guys have been doing well, you know, you guys have been together for a long time. So because because you guys have these two different experiences and because you both bring your two different generations the way you were raised the two different mindsets that you guys have into one I want you to kind of see that as accepting the differences that you guys have right and I'm not saying that you don't accept that okay I'm just saying that maybe that's why you feel like you're a father figure because maybe you have different expectations that you know she may be not be thinking into maybe there's certain things that you know the way that she takes not takes care of certain things but the way she, that she handles different things like for example emotions it's not the same as how you would handle these emotions so I think really and truly in order for you to kind of eliminate that father figure is to bring you guys together and to have that conversation and you can tell her straight up like I feel like I'm your father because I feel like I am supporting you you know throughout everything with this emotional support but I don't feel like you are doing this as well like I don't feel like you are supporting me 100% with my emotions and that's making me feel like I'm taking care of you it makes me feel like I'm raising you as my child rather than being your boyfriend and I am so sorry but that is the best way that I can kind of picture that sort of situation happening because I'm just gonna keep it keep it a buck with you right like I'm not in that sort of situation I've never dated anyone who's been more than you know two years older than me to be quite honest with yeah that's true I haven't dated anybody who's been more than two years older than me I don't even think I've dated anybody that was younger than me maybe talk to them but I don't know right oh that's a lie no that's the truth yeah that's the truth <laughs> so I want to kind of give you the best perspective that I see onto this as a third party and I also want to leave it up to our viewers vote for this story what you think he should do i think really and truly he should just be forward and say i feel like this i feel like a father figure let's figure out a way let's find a solution to where we can eliminate that and you can support me with my emotions as well and he's not saying that he doesn't want to support her with her emotions either i just think they're bringing two different worlds into one and the effects are starting to show, right? Like the honeymoon is kind of over and now he's like, dang, I don't want to be this girl's father. Like I'm in love with her. You feel me? So we're going to have in these cards, whichever side, right? We're going to say, we're going to have a forward conversation. We're going to let time pass and see how it goes. Or we're just going to do nothing. I don't know. We'll figure it out, right, guys? And so also leave it down in the comments below what you think he should do. Because personally, I think communication solves everything, okay? I have a whole degree in communication. <laughs> so maybe I'm a little bit biased there. But I also think action helps as well. And you can't expect growth. You can't expect change. And you can't expect a movement, you know, positivity without doing something about it. So hopefully I helped you all today. Thank you for writing to me today. And I wanted to make a note that you know anybody who I did a video on it doesn't matter how many times you send me an email I will help you in any way that I can okay guys thank you for joining me today on this beautiful writer scope and I hope to see you guys next time bye